But Karen, you mentioned there sterling edging higher this morning, and in fact that's got to be as a consequence of the fact that no deal has been taken off the table by this decision we got late last night from the European Council. Take a listen to how the President of the Council, Donald Tusk, framed the decision that the 27 European leaders have made. What this means in practice is that until that date, all options will remain open and the cliff edge dates will be delayed. The UK government will still have a choice of a deal, a no deal, a long extension, or revoking Article 50. The 12th of April is a key date in terms of the UK deciding whether to hold European Parliament elections. If it has now decided to do so by then, the option of a long extension will automatically become impossible. So that binary choice that the Europeans have offered Theresa May and the British Parliament will work in the Prime Minister's favour in some respects. It essentially mirrors the option she's tried to put before lawmakers over the past week since her deal was last defeated in the House of Commons. That is, vote for my deal, get a short technical extension up until May 22nd to allow for all the necessary legislation to get passed for Britain to exit the EU, or don't vote for my deal and then who knows, we could have a much longer extension. That will be up to, once again, the European Council, potentially in the next couple of weeks. Take a listen to how Theresa May commented on this decision late last night. What this decision tonight does is show the clear choice that is available, uh, uh, open to MPs. Getting the deal through next week in a meaningful vote means that we can have that extension to the 22nd of May, get our legislation through, deliver on the referendum, leave the European Union and do it in an orderly manner. Uh, not getting that vote through means that we will obviously, as uh, the Council has said, come back to the Council before the 12th of April with a plan for the way, uh, for the way forward. Uh, but that, that, if it involves that further extension, would mean us uh, uh, candidates being stood in the European parliamentary elections. I think the choice is clear for people. And as the British Prime Minister returns to London this morning, there is certainty if her deal goes through. If it doesn't, and this is a question I asked all European leaders that I managed to talk to yesterday, what happens next? There is still no clear answer, guys. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.